This portion of the news is brought to you by Inspiration Senior Living, where we provide affordable elegance to Pahrump area seniors. Give us a call at 751-2300 and make an appointment to tour our community. Welcome back to News 46. The Nye County Sheriff's Department has sent an, updated, an update regarding a fatal accident that occurred over the weekend in Beatty. According to police, in the evening of October 24th, deputies were dispatched to a single vehicle rollover that occurred on a gravel road called Indian Springs Road, located in Beatty. When deputies arrived, it was discovered that a cream-colored Jeep Cherokee traveling at a high rate of speed lost control, crossed over from the southbound lane into the northbound lane, hitting the covert that runs along the northbound lane. The vehicle rolled an undetermined amount of times. A 14-year-old female passenger was ejected out of the sunroof. Based on the investigation, it is believed that the 14-year-old female was not wearing a seatbelt. This 14-year-old female was pronounced deceased at the scene. The 15-year-old female that was driving and the 15-year-old male who was an additional passenger were transported via ground ambulance to UMC in Las Vegas to be treated for their injuries. At the time of this report, they are both reported stable. Initial investigation shows they were both wearing their seatbelts, although the investigation is ongoing at this time and has not been confirmed at this time. Well, Lynette Sandquist vows to keep fighting for her animals to remain on her property. She recently purchased in the neighborhood off Calvada Boulevard. In total, she owns 28 animals. The neighbors are unhappy with the newcomer, and the Board of County Commissioners have ruled in their favor. I request that you uh, deny this appeal based on the numerous animals that have been running loose such as pigs, dogs, feral cats that were imported into the neighborhood that had very few cats. Uh, we have noise issues that wasn't there, continuous barking during the day, sometimes late at night. Uh, the smell, my house is directly behind theirs. Ms. Sanquist has had 29 complaints from animal control. That's 29 over the past four years, 30 including the most recent that a pig was out in the neighborhood. We are in town. We're not out in Nye County Rural. We're in town. I have um, 10 goats and I have two chickens and three turkeys. And a pot -belly pig. And then you have uh, those dogs as well. My 12 dogs and they are in kennels. My big dogs are in kennels and my other dogs go in and out of the garage. And that, and is there a lot of noise? Is there a lot of flies? No, What's going on? There's not. I've been accused of flies, and I've been accused of noise from my dogs and everything else. And they don't bark no different than the neighborhood dog. Even though I have the twelve, maybe one will bark or something like that. But they're quiet. They're quiet from around seven o'clock at night until seven in the morning when my child gets up to go to school. And that was the other problem that they had is they don't like that my child goes to school and we live in that area and gets up to take care of the animals. Where, what's the area? The area is off of River Plate in the Calvada area. I think we need to be looking at our codes in RE1s because you can stack pigs like cordwood. We don't yes. have a limitation on pigs and horses and all the rest. It's something we need to look at, but this was put into place after years of going through animal, uh, the Animal Advisory Board. It's been in place for some time. I'm being asked to believe that uh, animal controls lied to us, and I can't believe that, so I make a motion well, to did. deny I make a motion to deny this appeal based on the findings of the RPC. That's good, because now I know where to go. And I'll second it. So with that, we'll Thank take you. a vote, and we'll... Aye. 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 Nay. I'm undecided, but I'm going to go nay. nay. But that's 3-2. That's, uh, uh, motion passes. You've been denied. 
Well, Lamar Oda may be facing criminal charges for using cocaine, according to reports. The Nye County Sheriff's Office has sent the report to the District Attorney's Office for possible prosecution in this case. Two weeks ago, the 35-year-old was found unconscious at a love ranch in Crystal after an apparent overdose. The former NBA star is at Cedar Sinea Hospital recovering from supposed organ failure and multiple strokes. His wife, Chloe, at his side, who called off the divorce, they both filed for in July. Well, folks, after these messages, we're going to have more news, so don't go anywhere.